All right, I want to do a little bit of an overview of the Kirimoto performance package from Dave Martel and give you guys a look at my newest rehandle. Okay, so let's take a look at the handle. It's a uh, maple burl wood that I got from Arizona Ironwood. The mosaic pins I got from Jant Supply, as well as the spacers. It's a fiber spacer material. I went with the triple spacer design, and it came out pretty good. It's not perfect. Once again, it's only third or fourth handle. Um, the Coke bottle shape. Pretty good contour. You see I made a mistake here. Where that red spacer slipped a little bit and the epoxy filled in the void but I'll always know it's there. Um, on the bottom here too, I kind of screwed it up a little bit. Um, inside that curve is kind of difficult to do with my 1x30 bill grinder. So when I sent it to Dave for the performance package, he cleaned it up real nice down there and refinished the handle for me. So it's pretty scratch free. Nice work there. Overall, the handle's really comfortable. I like it. I like the coat bottle shape. Even though I'm a pinch gripper, it still feels really smooth and flush. There's nothing on there that distracts you from your grip. Um, so that's pretty much the handle. Let's, let's talk about the performance package that Dave does. Basically, uh, I think you can see here, it focuses. Right, well, there's kind of a watermark there, and that seems to be where Dave starts the grinding, or well, you can see where it used to it used to be anyway. Um, so it's much thinner than it used to be, and that etch just makes the knife look so cool. And there we go. Um, Yeah, so it's a lot thinner. It glides through the product easier than prior to the package upgrade. Um, Here motors are a little thick behind the edge and they, uh, they tend to wedge in carrots and just don't feel that smooth when you're cutting through onions and such. But Dave does a really great job thinning it and just making it look awesome. So it's a pretty high performance cutter now. I will say that it's uh, it's tough to get great food release on thinner knives though, since you don't have as much material to work with. Um, you can't really get as much of a convexing, I think, so there is a little bit of stiction on this blade, but that's a small price to pay for uh, such a smooth cutting device. Check out that etch. Another problem I had with the uh, 
the re-handle job on it. You can't tell, maybe, at first glance, but if you look hard enough, you'll see that the pins aren't uh, precisely lined up at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, I had some trouble drilling with my bits. They didn't go through quite easily at all. It took me an hour to drill these three, these three holes. Uh, so they were very tight when I put the pins in and as I tried to uh, twist them into the upright position, it was almost impossible. I started destroying the pins, so I, I had to uh, just settle for that. So you can see, if you look closely, the one in the center is a little bit slightly to the right, and the one in the back is slightly to the left, and the, uh, the one up top by the bolster is just about perfect. So next time, I guess I'll, uh, I'll have to drill the pins a little bit a little bit wider just to get some wiggle room but yeah I did the, uh, the triple spacer design and the coke bottle shape Dave did a great job cleaning up my uh, my junk under here and awesome on the uh, performance package upgrade just fantastic cutter now it just looks so badass too it's like it's got flames coming off of it Let me see if I can cut some. 